Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the mace. As in recent snapshots and also betas, they have nerfed the mace, but also buffing it at the same time. And today we're going to talk about if the changes they've made are good or bad. The majority of feedback I have seen for these changes is pretty good, but there are also some people that don't like these changes. And there's one change in particular that I don't like. Let's first of all cover the buffs to the mace. So the buff here is the durability. If we hit a mob, you'll see it now has 500 durability. In prior snapshots and betas, it would have 250. Now this doesn't really mean anything because you can repair it with breeze rods, but you can also enchant it with mending. So durability doesn't really mean anything, it just means it will last a lot longer without mending. The damage doesn't scale, so it is one durability no matter how high you hit the mob from. Now if you have unbreaking on it, then the durability can be reduced as well. Now let's talk about the nerf I don't personally like. And that is the attack speed. The attack speed used to be, I think, the same as the diamond swords, so that is 1.6. But they changed it to 0.5 and the best way to see it if I hit the mace like so you can see how long it takes to withdraw again. You can also see below my crosshair there is like a little bar that fills up. When it gets to the very top that is the mace basically ready for its most powerful attack. And you can see how slow it is. Now I'm not too sure why they've done this. Because if I was to hit the mob. I can still deal a powerful attack. Even though the mace isn't fully charged up. Now I'm not exactly too sure why they made this change. And why they made the attack speed so low. But I hope that they revert this. Or at least increase it to maybe 1. Or even 1.2. Because if we look at other weapons in the game. The trident for example. The trident's attack speed is a 1.1. Whereas this is 0.5. And then every single sword in the game is 1.6. And then the other weapon is the axe. Which if we look at the axe it is 0.9. So it's even slower than withdrawing an axe. Which I guess makes sense. Because the mace is meant to be a heavy weapon. So it takes a lot longer for the player to lift up the mace into their hand. So it does make sense in a lore perspective. But in a fighting perspective, it's just kind of annoying. Maybe it should be like 0.8 or 0.7 if they want it slower than an axe. But I definitely don't think it should be 0.5. They did also make some changes to falling and the damage how it's calculated. So for the first three blocks you fall, it is four damage for the block. Then for the next five blocks you fall, it's two damage for every block. And then every block above that, it's one damage per block. Now this doesn't mean too much. It just means that you'll have to adjust how high you drop from. As this isn't like a huge nerf, it just means that you'll have to tweak if you would kill a warden, for example, from 125 blocks, you might have to just adjust that a little bit higher. Now with this, they did also make a change to density. And that is that density will now deal 0.5 damage per block and this is also per level so if you have the max level of density then it's 0.5 for every level you have so density has a max of 5 so if we have the max of 5 it'll be 2.5 damage for every block you fall if you only have density 1 then it'll be 0.5 damage for every block you fall before it was 1 damage per every block and per every level so with the max of 5 it would be 5 damage so they basically just halved it now this these changes don't really bother me because the mace was quite OP as it was. So them tweaking the damage drop off and stuff like that, it doesn't really affect it. It just means you have to adjust the height. It does also mean that one hitting players, for example, with Neverite and stuff like that, you'll need to go a bit higher than you did have to before. And then the final mace nerf they added was enchantments. Certain enchantments can't be enchanted together. And these enchantments are the following. Bane of Arthropods, Smite, Density and Breach. You cannot have any of these enchantments on the same mace. Only one of these can be on a mace at a time. You can still enchant other things on it like mending, unbreaking, fire aspect and things like that. One thing I'm not too sure about though is can you have sharpness on a mace? You can. So you also can't have sharpness with any of these either. And I'm going to quickly just show that. So let's enchant this. So let's put sharpness on this mace. Let's say we want to deal extra damage. And let's now try and put Bane of Arthropods. You can see it does show a fail. If I now was to put Density, you can see it doesn't work either. And this is the same for every single one of these enchantments. Now, this doesn't really mean too much. This just means that if you want a OP mace, or if you want the two new enchantments, 
you'll need to get yourself two different maces. And I think this is a good change in my opinion for two reasons. The first reason, it will encourage players to go back into the trial chamber to get more than one heavy core. It will then also encourage players to go hunting for ominous events a little bit more to then get another mace. And the second reason I think this is a good idea is because then you have to choose. Density, I explained what that does a little bit earlier. It does more damage per block. And Breach does it so it reduces armor effectiveness by 15% per level. So you basically have to pick what one you want to use. If you are maybe fighting a Warden or something like that, then you probably want Density because you want to deal more damage to get in more health. But if you're fighting a player, then you might want Breach because you want to bypass their armor. So I think this change is good because then it requires the players to pick what one they want and be tactical with what enchantment they use when fighting certain mobs or entities. But I definitely think it does require the player to think a little bit about what one they want to use. As players, I think Breach will definitely be better because if they're wearing Neverite Protection for armor, then you can basically bypass that armor by up to 60%. So now just to round it up, do I think these changes are good or bad? I don't think they're bad. I think the only bad one is the attack speed. I don't understand why they've made it so slow. I understand it from a lore perspective, but I don't understand it from a PvP perspective because it's just annoying more than it's like useful. But all the other changes to the mace, I don't think they are going to affect the mace too much. They're going to slightly change and adjust how the player has to fall and things like that. The damage increase is definitely a good thing just because more durability is always good in the game as if you don't like using mending or you can't get mending it means that you don't have to watch the durability as often and then the enchantments conflicting each other i think is a good thing just because it was way too overpowered you can still have wind burst and density or wind burst and breach they are not conflicting each other it is literally just the damage enchantments and then density and breach and then the final change they did make which i didn't cover this in the video because i'm not too sure what is correct as bedrock and java have two different values and that is the base attack damage which currently is six inside of jar edition inside of bedrock edition that is five now comparing this to a sword it is the same as an iron sword but in bedrock edition it's the same as a stone sword so i'm not too sure what one is correct i don't know if six is correct or if five is correct but on both versions it used to be the same as a diamond sword at a base of seven now all this damage means is if i was to use this as an axe or a sword where i was just to punch a mob without falling any blocks that is how much damage it will deal but that is it for this video i just want to talk about the mace and i think they are good changes i am curious to see if minecraft will tweak the mace anymore or if this will be the final version of the mace but anyway if you did enjoy this video do leave a like and subscribe let me know what you guys think of the changes they've made and if you think they are bad do let me know why as i'm really curious but anyway i'll see you guys in the next one bye